Hello everyone. It's morning, July 1st, which means NaNoWriMo is starting, but also it's Canada Day, which means Canada has a birthday now. So we're going to celebrate Canada's birthday first and then we're going to do some writing. This is my first Canada Day ever and yeah, so we got to do stuff. If I did not, I would be angry with myself. I just woke up so I look like a, uh, like a chewing gum and weird baby. Happy birthday, Canada. I love you. And also, yeah, NaNoWriMo, that's also happening. And what I'm gonna do is to try and finish my story, which should be 25,000 words. I'll take you out. And in the evening, we will talk more about writing. See you. Happy birthday, Canada. So yesterday the plan didn't really go as it was supposed to be so the plan was go outside because I had some people to do and stuff to see what did I just say people to see and stuff to do yeah that was weird so later so when I got home I planned and uh, when I got home I planned to work on writing and get at least 1000 words done but I did not because well other stuff happened and now I have a hangover so it took me a few hours today to get into a normal human state again so I'm a little bit like human now but I still feel like a watermelon but I wanna I want to do some writing because if not I'll be like just I'll be angry with myself for being useless so let, let's, let's do some writing. Okay, see you later. So people who are supposed to be dead are dead. People who are supposed to be injured are injured. So stuff happened, but the writing is really not good. But I'm gonna blame my hangover brain. And tomorrow hopefully will be a better day. For now, good night. I made a board. It's the save the cat board. You know, it's it's not exactly as safe the cat, but it is kind of like, it's very similar. It just, I have only three lines, not four, because in Save the Cats, he, they do um, two, act two, whatever. And, okay, that's opening image. It's gonna be a little bit blurry because my camera is old and bad. So that's opening image. Here is a backstory. Oh, that's supposed to be a setup. And this is where I have it a kind of broken, I guess. Mm, and I don't know how to fix it yet, but I will. Because I'm gonna first write it all down and then we will fix this part. Because that's supposed to be the setup. And the story, when I got the idea, was basically this story first. And then it kind of grew into this. 
So I wrote that. That's that. That's this. That's also planned out, like you know, act first, blah blah blah. So this has twenty five thousand words, and then I was like, it's not that interesting, and I want to make it better. And then I added a bit of plane crash, and then I'm like, this is way better. So, but it's still everything that's here ties to this. So I need it to be there. I'm just not sure if I should make it as the setup. So the first, I don't know, 50 pages would be kind of this in short. And then we would, so the plane crash, that's the opening image. It's the hook. Then we would go back eight months, which would be explaining why we are able to do all these badass things. Because these kids are only 10 and 11 and suddenly they're gonna be, you know, doing some cool stuff and fighting and that story explains how they're able to do that. So we need it, you know, kind of need it. Um, and these are the, um, well, that's just the A story, the main plot. This is a B story, that's a C story, this is a D story. And these are matching that one because this is a goal for the A story. So the A story is we are stuck and lost in a forest in the middle of nowhere and our goal is to survive. And the A, B, C, D story, like the side plots, is that the main character has is a little bit in a war with his... He. The main character is in a little bit of a war with his siblings. Well, his sibling and cousins. And there is like a bullying and stuff. So this is the con uh, the goal. Like we, how are we gonna survive when everybody is uh, fighting each other, f fighting each other and hating each other? And yeah, this is the parents' relationship. This is the goal for this this story. This is his dream of becoming of one of the like protectors of the colony where he lives in. And this is the goal. This is the theme. In short, it is that kids can do badass things if you let them do what they love. <laughs> yeah. So, at the moment, I've written everything till here. Uh, I just finished this scene, basically. It's blurry. Never mind. These are just plans that I figured out while writing this. So I know how to... I know what's gonna happen next, but this is just like... Just a few scenes. I think these are actually... These two are actually the same. Um, yeah, these two are the same. These two are gonna blend into one, because we don't need both of them. This is a break into two, so when they discuss what the hell happened, you know, what are we gonna do, they make a plan and they go off for the journey. Yay! And this is the the act two, fun and games. And it's empty. I haven't done anything yet, any planning. You know why? Because my process is a little bit weird. I'll explain now. So, this part, it's all just... I call it freestyling, some call it pantsing, I don't like the word much, it brings bad memories. So this was freestyled, all of that, till now, was freestyled. This is kind of also gonna be freestyled, it's just little points that need to happen, but they're a little a tiny part of the story, it's just few pages. So how do I explain this? Okay, so that's freestyled, but I wouldn't come up with any of it if I didn't freestyle, if you know what I mean. I had to freestyle it and then go back and clean it up. And then while I was writing this part, I came up with this part. So I wouldn't have come up with this part if I haven't written this one. And I wouldn't have written this one if I had not freestyled it. <laughs> that was a difficult English. Did I say it right? Let me know if the grammar was correct. If yes, then wow, yay, cool. 
Okay, moving on. So I finished here. Tomorrow I'm gonna do this scene, which is, what is it? Gather on the, oh yeah, they are kind of finding, gonna find a safe place to set up a camp and discuss what's gonna happen next. So these two scenes are gonna blend into one because it's not needed really. This part, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just trust my process and I'll do what I always do. Freestyle. I'm feeling maybe in the midpoint. I might get stuck and I will have no idea what to do next. So that's possibility. Or it might come up here. I don't know. So I'll just freestyle this until I get stuck. And when I get stuck, I'll go back and clean up what I've write, what I've written, because when I clean it up, clean it up, it's gonna give me a better idea what should happen next. Now, if I do planning first, I'm not gonna come up with anything good. I know myself. I tried. I have to do freestyling in order to come up with good ideas, and then I take what's important, what's good and clean it up into this, make it a little bit better and once it's cleaned up and once it's a little bit planned out I can move on. So while I'm doing this and cleaning up I'll come up with this part again. You know, So I might get an idea for the midpoint if I get stuck here which I probably will. When I get unstuck I'll just freestyle again and then go until I get stuck, when I get stuck, I'll go back, clean up, make some sticky notes, make, do some planning, you know, clean up the mess, and then freestyle the finale. See, this is the resolution for the bullying plot, so I know how I'm going to resolve that, which is, a, which is cool. I kind of think, thought of it in... I think I was on a plane. I don't know. I just came up with a solution and I was happy, so I had to put it up, put it there. This color coding really helps. Like, I like this board. I like to look at it. It's empty, but you know, it's a kind of a map, and it gives me a better idea of what I'm actually doing. So that's my board. And now I think I'm gonna go to sleep because it's 2 a.m. So see you. Bye. Good morning or afternoon. It's July 11th and time to do some more stuff. I got my coffee, my notes and my Maltese song. Let's go. I'm stuck. It's gonna take me half an hour to get into the zone. I have to write down my goal. Where is my pinky stuff? I need to write down what time it is and how long I'm gonna be writing. So it's 12.28 p.m. So let's do two hours because I gotta make some lunch. Tio. Tio to thirty. No breaks. Because see, I set up the goal. No breaks allowed because we don't have time. Actually, I'm gonna put it on my coffee cup like that. Let's do it. Come on, get back into the zone. I mean, get into the zone. Two hours are gone. So yesterday I wrote 504 
which means this number minus 504 and that is 896 896 gotta get ready for work now and hopefully I'll have enough time and energy when I get back home because my goal to finish on time it says to write 800 words every day so which I did today but I'm still behind so I need to catch up I need to catch up I need to catch up I need to mustard and catch up I should go